and welcome to this extra special edition of Lisburn Distillery TV. It's extra special today because we're going to be heading on the road right to the very heart of Europe. First up we're going to be heading to Denmark where we're going to spend some time with the Lisburn Distillery Scandinavian Supporters Club and from there we'll be travelling over to Sweden where we'll be spending some time in the city of Halmstead with Swedish second division side IS Helmia hoping to forge some stronger bonds between our clubs. Enjoy the journey. So here we are then, stage one of the journey, waiting on the bus to go to Dublin. Uh, if you know Lisburn at all, you'll know where now it's currently at Sprucefield. The bus is due to arrive here for Dublin in roughly about 10 minutes time. So that's the first step, head off to Dublin airport and from there, it's over to Copenhagen. So now of course that's the long wait before the plane takes off. The ultra boring part in the airport as I find it um, and I plenty of coffee shops to choose from so it's down to Starbucks for a cappuccino. successfully arrived in Denmark, now in the hotel, um, met up our first meeting with our friends in the Scandinavian Sports Club, who are now waiting downstairs in the lobby first to head off to Tivoli Gardens, here in the heart of Copenhagen. Looks like an interesting place, so let's see how we get on. So it's uh, now Friday night after a lovely day at the Tivoli Gardens. We've now returned back to Jan's house for some evening meal. Uh, I've been joined by Jan and Ola. Uh, just not going to ask them a few wee questions. First of all, Jan, first I want to just say thank you very much for the invitation to come over to yourself and all the members uh, to Denmark. I know you've been over to Northern Ireland quite a few times. How many times in total have you been to visit us? Well, first I've said it's an honour to, to have you here. Um, well, I've, I've been uh, been over since 2011. I think it's eight times or something like that. Okay, and you keep coming back? Yeah, I, I love the place. I love the people around uh, the football club, uh, the, the fan clubs, and all, all those. It's uh, it's just great. Okay, and Ola, have you you've been to North Ireland as well? Yeah, I've been there three times. Uh, not this year, uh, okay. sad to say, but I'll be back next year for back sure. Back next year yeah. for certain. Okay, and then, yeah, it's it's great being there and, and 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 knowing you and being together with you. Doing okay. maths and also after that's amazing. So, so for sure uh, we'll come back. We know your story is how you got involved. With it. Obviously, you, know, you formed actually the Scandinavian Supporters Club. But how did you get involved in it? Yeah, he's sitting behind me, <laughs> <laughs> beside me. Sorry, yeah, because of Jan. Yeah, he coached Jan too. Yeah, that's okay. From, from before, yeah. Okay, and membership-wise, I mean, people every time they hear this story, they keep saying that's really bizarre that you yeah. have a Scandinavian supporters club for this burn distillery. How many members do you think we have at this moment in time in this club? Well, it's it's around fifty, but I will say uh, maybe half of that figure uh, there are active members. Uh, so I think twenty-five, thirty of them. And when you say active, you mean people you keep in touch? Yeah, people coming over, watching uh, Lisbon playing, and then uh, maybe contribute sometimes with some money and so on. So okay. Yeah. Absolutely fascinating story, as I'm sure all the viewers will actually agree with. So, thanks very much for talking to us tonight, guys. We'll now go and get something to eat. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. So, welcome to day two of the Scandinavian trip. Uh, I'm still in Copenhagen as we speak, however, it was very short. I'll be jumping into a car, making the two hour drive over to Halmstead in Sweden, where I'll be meeting up with club officials from IS Halmia, that's the Swedish second division side. We'll also be meeting up with more members of the Lisbon Distillery Scandinavian Supporters Club. So. All in all, a very, very busy day ahead, so it's best I could go on. So here we are now on uh, the 
ferry over to Sweden, first side of Sweden in the background. Um, it's only a 20 mile trip across here from, from Denmark to Sweden, but uh, hopefully for a safe trip. And now for a cup of coffee. So it's a, a low from Sweden. We are now on the banks of the river Lurgan, which apparently is, is spelled L-A-G-A-N, a bit like the river Lagan, so it feels like a bit like home from home. We've just arrived to meet the rest of the guys who are coming here for lunches. As you might be able to see in the background, the distillery flags uh, coming out, so uh, let's go and enjoy them. Okay, so it's uh, welcome from La Home, where we're actually, as you can see here, we're sitting down for lunch, and I'm joined by various members of the distillery Scandinavian Supporters Club. If you want to say hello, Hello everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so as you can see the sun's shining, we're having a great time here, so uh, hopefully you're enjoying yourselves back at home. Catch you later. I would yell, but you already know. I hate myself when I let you let go. Cause I don't care what you said to me. In the background of right in the city, in Hamstead itself. Um, truly beautiful city, it has to be said on first impressions. Um, here since the 1300s, and it's changed hands over that time between Denmark and Sweden as to who actually owns it, currently under the ownership of Sweden. And football fans are probably interested to know that Northern Ireland back in 1958 had their first ever World Cup games here, uh, including a 1 0 victory over Czechoslovakia. So hopefully that stands us in good stead for later on this year. I'll include some photographs so you get a bit of an idea of how exactly the city looks, but it really is a beautiful place. Welcome to Hampstead. I would yell, but you already know. I hate myself when I let you let go. Cause I don't care what you said to me. When you said you needed to, to breathe. You feel, I miss the way that you tell